the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 here. I'm going to show you how to wipe the cache partition. First thing to note is with the uh, wiping the cache partition, you're basically deleting your temporary files that you, do, you don't need anyway. And if it gets cluttered, it's possible that your phone can get like laggy, kind of get like hesitant. You may get error messages and so on. So wiping the cache partition can clear usually clear some of that up. So first thing is go ahead and turn your phone off. Volume down, power, press and hold both buttons and that'll bring up the power off menu right there. And go ahead and tap on power off. Power off, wait till it's completely off. I just felt it vibrate, it's totally off now. Okay, now what we have to do is boot into the Android recovery menu. And how you do that is a two key combination, volume up, power button, press and hold both buttons and don't let go until we see the Samsung logo appear then we can let go. We'll do it together, volume up, power, Ready? One, two, three, press and hold. Just wait for the Samsung logo to appear. There it is, go ahead and let go. And this will boot us up into the Android recovery menu. As you can see right here, okay? Now you have the volume rockers, you can move up or down. What you wanna do is go down to where it says wipe cache partition, okay? And if you wanna go ahead and uh, select it, go ahead and press the power button, okay? Press the power button. You get this message up here basically saying this cannot be undone. So we're going to proceed. So we're going to go down, volume down to highlight yes. And then we're going to press power button to proceed. And as soon as I press on the power button, look at the bottom right here. Watch how fast this is. So I'm going to go ahead and press the power button, select yes. And like this, oh, cache white complete. There you go. And then it defaults. It highlights reboot system now is exactly what we want. So just press the power button right there and let it boot back up normally and you just wipe your cache partition. Any questions or issues, just comment below.